friends, it's me, Treva Preet from your Canton Library. And the story that I have to share with you today is called Be Brave, Little Penguin. It's about a little penguin named Pip Pip who's afraid of the water. Oh my goodness, you're just gonna have to join me and find out what happens. Are you ready? Here we go. Be brave, little penguin. Written by Gils Andreid, illustrated by Guy Parker Rees. Published by Orchard Books, an imprint of Scholastic Inc., New York. In the cold Antarctic sunshine, where the icy ocean ends, lived a family of penguins with all their penguin friends. There were fat ones, there were thin ones, there were penguins short and tall, but little penguin Pip-Pip was the smallest one of all. And while the other penguins were out swimming wild and free, little Pip-Pip played alone too frightened of the sea. Names like Scaredy Pip Pip echoed in his ears. He was sad and he was lonely, but he couldn't show his tears. What's the matter, Pip Pip? His daddy said one fine day. You can't be scared of water. What a silly thing to say. Be gentle, said his mommy, taking Pip-Pip by the hand. We all have certain fears that might be hard to understand. Come on, little Pip-Pip, dip your toes in here, just so. The water's calm and still now. You can do it nice and slow. But what if the water's freezing, mommy? What if I get in and it's just too dark and deep for me? And what if I can't swim? And what if there are monsters who smell me from their den and they slither up and eat me and I'm never seen again? I understand, little one, said his mommy with a kiss. But Pip-Pip, what if now you try to think of it like this? What if in the water there are friends for you to meet? And what if it is light and warm and full of treats to eat? Take my hand, little one. Don't worry, I'm right here. Please trust me, little Pip-Pip. Be brave and never fear. Slowly, Pip-Pip made his way toward the water's edge. He stared down at the ocean from the slippery, icy ledge. Then he looked back at his mommy and his small heart thumped. He closed his eyes, he held his breath, and little Pip-Pip jumped. Splash! For a while, his mommy waited. Then she cried out, something's wrong. Pip-Pip, please, where are you? You've been under way too long. She leaped into the ocean, diving deep into the blue. Then suddenly, from nowhere, came a little voice she knew. Mommy, mommy, over here. Hey, mommy, look at me. I'm swimming, mommy, swimming. Look, I'm swimming, can you see? She turned and spinning circles through the water bright and clean, swam Pip-Pip with the biggest smile the world has ever seen. And as she watched her little one right there before her eyes, he 
burst up through the surface and he soared into the skies. Woohoo! cried little Pip Pip. Look, Mommy, I can fly! It's really not that tricky. You should try it, Mommy. Try! Oh, Pip Pip, laughed his Mommy as she watched him with a grin. I don't know about flying, but oh my, you've learned to swim! Then his friends all gathered round as Pip Pip landed with a bump and said, Sometimes all you have to do is just be brave and jump. I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you for listening with me. Guess what, friends? Story time is back here at your Canton Library. Yes, it is on Saturday mornings at 1030 a.m. I hope you can join me. Have a great day. Thanks again for joining me today. Bye-bye.